Hello guys! In today's edition of our lesson video in DLE6, ICT and Entrepreneurship, we are going to discuss about e-groups. So, finish watching the video and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Remember also to hit the notification bell for more content updates. Here is the learning competency. Uses an e-group to share ideas and work with others. These are the lesson objectives. First, define e-groups. Second, give the rewards and challenges in using e-groups. Third, use e-groups to share ideas and work with others online. Let's be informed. E-groups, also known as online or web communities, are groups of people who use internet services such as email, chat systems, discussion boards, and social networking sites to communicate and collaborate with one another. It is a convenient way to share messages, photos, and ideas and keep people with some interest and stay connected. Sharing and working with others is a challenging task but rewarding as well. Here are the rewards and challenges of e-groups. We will first discuss about rewards. Number 1. Sharing ideas among the group. Members can share their ideas and contribute about the pros and cons of the task or project to be accomplished. This collaboration can bring better results for the project or task. Number 2. Improving work and increasing efficiency. Work is done faster and may project better product results. Number 3. Cost saving for the company. It allows to accomplish more and allows the group to meet team goals more quickly without having to travel. Number 4. Showcasing individual strengths and creating an improved workforce. Individual ideas are directly contributed. E-groups urge everyone to share ideas and promote limitless discussions. Number 5. Offering better relationships. Number 6. People learn to reach out, share ideas and problems encountered, and develop camaraderie. Number 7. Since e-group members share similar interests, they support each other and motivate a better community. These are the challenges of e-groups. First, overloading of information. Long messages threads may make the sequence of conversations had to be understood. Messages may be overloaded too. Second, occurrence of time intervals. Conversations sometimes get delayed because members may not lag on the same time. Messages may take longer to be received and worse, no reply is received at all. Third, having uncooperative members. Some members may not cooperate as they prefer to work alone. Fourth, directionless. E-group discussions without mediators may result to a directionless conversations. Let's answer. Number one, what is e-group? Number two, what are the rewards and challenges of using e-groups? Let's remember, e-groups are groups of people who use the internet services such as email, chat systems, discussion boards, and social networking sites to communicate and collaborate with one another. Let's do together. Form a group of six members. Create an e-group. Make a group chat. Make a report on the effectiveness of e-group and the benefits of collaborating online. Reinforcement. Give additional three benefits of e-group. 